Hi. I'm a very shy person, so this is really difficult for me. So I'll go and do the best job I can and go as fast as possible, I promise. Just, just, just be patient with me, please. <laughs> I'm a kidder. I'm a kidder. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Give me a camera. Mistake. Okay, folks, here we go. Welcome to your sweet, sweet science class for the summer. Now, let me tell you something. We have got to learn a little bit about the international system. International system. And the international system, which I would hope that you do know a lot about the international system. And you probably do know that you know a lot about the international system. You probably don't know that you know so much, but I'm here to make sure that you know that you know. And if you don't know, I'm here to make sure that you know. So the international system, abbreviated SI, not Sports Illustrated, System International, it's French. Backwards, it's French. Uh, and the international system is not the metric system, people. Not the metric system. There are some differences between the two, and I'll be pointing one out here shortly. But uh, for the most part, it's the metric system, but they certainly are not, not the same. All right, the international system. Uh, back in 18 yada yada, some people got together and went, yo's, maybe we should make a universal thing that everybody agrees on. And they went, good idea. All right, let's do it. And they did it. Okay, so here are the things that you need to know for this class in the international system. Let's start out with some basic units of measurement. Basic units of measurement. Now, what I'm talking about, now there are a lot of different ways of measuring things in science. And we're just not going to use them all in this class, so I'm going to go over some that are very important to use. All right. You need to know how to measure a length. A lengtho. A lengtho is Italian for length. Now, length is going to be measured in what unit? You know. I know you know. It's going to be measured in the foot, right? No, no, it's British Imperial stuff, man. Only in America do we do that stuff. In science, we're going to use the meter. So meter is the unit of measure abbreviated by a little M. See, I'm telling you, easy. This class is going to be a piece of cake. I'm telling you, piece of cake. That's what the class is all about. Uh, next, what else should we, what should we measure? We should measure time. Time, you know it. It's measured in seconds. Abbreviation, less. Very simple. See, S for simple. All right, what else do we got? Well, not only do we have to measure the length of something and sometimes how, you know, the, the time, we have to measure how, ooh, oh, ooh, whoa, like this marker, whoa, can barely hold it up. It is going to be mass. Mass is measured, basic unit is? No, I heard that. I heard that you said gram. I did. Yes, you did. You said gram. No, not gram. That is for IRL, which we all know the cool kids know is in real life. We're talking about, we need more in grams. We need some kilograms. So kilograms. Little K, G. I always do a cursive little K, because if I don't do a cursive little K, my little K non-cursive looks like a big K and it's all confuzzling. So, kilograms, okay, there is, those are, I always say to students, make sure that you're using MKS, MKS, meters, kilograms, seconds, and so you're going to hear me say that quite often. Yeah, I, I call this actually not the international system, but the MKS system. If you are not using MKS quite, 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 quite often, not every time, but quite often, things go awry, <laughs> down the tubes for you, so we have to make sure that we have our units in these units. There are some other things that we measure, important measurements in science, and there are a lot of them, like I said, the international system, but we're just not gonna use them. But um, temperature. <coughs> temperature is measured in, Billy, what do you think? Oh, you're, okay, I, I, you're scratching your head, not raising your hand. Okay, okay, make sure you, you clarify that. This is scratching your head. And this is raising your hand. Thank you. Missy, okay? Going to be measured in? No. No. No, it's not. I know, it's surprising. It's not Celsius. No. It's not, it's not centigrade. Celsius and centigrade, same thing. 
No, there's a difference between the metric system, which would be Celsius, and the international system, not Celsius. Yes, the other half of Hobbes, Calvin. Get it? Calvin and Hobbes. It's funny. It's a cartoon. Okay. Calvin. All right, yeah. Calvin, big K, don't put a degree there. You put a degree there, you put a little degree mark with Fahrenheit, a little degree mark with Celsius, but not Calvin. People will laugh at you behind your back. They'll go, you put a degree. <laughs> what an idiot. Calvin, K. These are the basic things that we are going to be measuring in class. So those are the basic things of measure. Now, if you're in chemistry, here's an important one that we have to measure the amount of matter. Amount, there's actually a measurement for how much. And a lot of times people confuse us, they, get this, they screw this all up. They say, well, the amount is measured mass. Mass is the amount of matter. No, actually, no, it's not. Mass is not the measurement of the amount of matter. You might even find that in a chemistry book as a definition, <laughs> wrong. Mass is a measure of inertia. Okay, you know, if you're, you have to learn about inertia, then you'll learn about that. But it's mass is a measure of inertia, the amount of inertia you have. The amount of matter is not mass. It's the little blind thing in the lawn. Mole, yes, it's the mole. So the mole, M-O-L-E, you abbreviate that. This will save you a lot of ink and time, M-O-L. All right, there's your abbreviation for that. So that's the amount of matter. Very chemistry important, but you actually use that in physics as well. You can certainly use that in uh, different classes, especially when you start getting into things like heat particles and stuff in physics. But here are the basic things that we are going to measure using the MK system. All right, those are the basic things, and these are the abbreviations for them. Okay, the other thing you need to know about the international system are the prefixes. Now, of course, you can always look these up, but doggone it, you just need to know them. I suppose I could always, you know, I can walk around with a German English dictionary when I'm in Germany and say, oh, wait a minute, I need to talk to you. Uh, guten Morgen. Uh, yeah. And start you know, one word at a time, talk with somebody with my little dictionary. How's that gonna work out? Well, it could work out, but it's really gonna be annoying. And so I'm gonna stick that dictionary somewhere where it's gonna hurt. Okay, so you need just to know these. You need to know some basic prefixes and what they mean. So I like to draw a line, and the prefixes that I'm going to put above the line mean larger than one. The prefixes I'm going to put below the line mean they mean smaller than one. So the line, the line represents the number one. So this line represents the number one. Okay, some prefixes we need to know that are greater than one. The first one I'm going to put down is kilo. Now, kilo, little k, yeah, no cursive, little k, I gotta do cursive. I L kilo. Oh, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Yes, Johnny. Well, what about the one for 10 and 100? That's deca and hecto. But you know what? They're just hardly ever, they don't get used. They really don't. If you're talking about things in meters, you can talk about things being 200 meters away then you don't have to put a prefix, prefix in front of that. But we're talking about kilometers, that's where we first start using the prefixes really. Yes, deca and hecto are 10 and 100, but they just don't get used, so I'm not gonna include them. I guess I kind of talked about them, so I guess I kind of did. All right, so kilo. Kilo means 1,000. It's 1,000, and that is also can be written as 10 to the third. That's an important one we need to know. The next larger one than that is mega. M mega, mega, capital M, capitalize that big Larry. Uh, that means, well, you win the mega bucks. How many bucks you win? One million bucks. Get it? Awesome powers. One million. Ten to the sixth. Next one, larger than one that we just need to know is big G giga. Of course, back in the day, oh, hang on, uno segundo, be right back. The 
I'm back. I get it, I'm back. Back. Wow, tough crowd. Just gonna like make me earn my money. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah. yeah you, you've seen Back to the Future. If you haven't seen Back to the Future, I want you to stop this video right now and go and watch it. You do not go into this class without having watched Back to the Future. That's just un-American, American. Back to the Future, they needed 1.21 gigawatts. Gigawatts, you see, but now everybody says giga. All those computer geeks, that's what they did to us. They mean it's changed the way it should be said. Gigawatts, Back to the Future knows. Where was I? Oh yeah, what does it mean? It means a billion. A billion, and it's 10 to the ninth. And to the ninth. Yeah, you need to know these, doggone it. He's due. There are ones that are larger than that, you Terra and blah, 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 but you're not going to use those. All right, so what about prefixes meaning less than one? First one, deci, 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 that I at the end. If you have an A or an O, that means big. If you have an I, that means little. Des, dec, decade. Des E is 10, but one tenth. Des means one tenth. That's 10 to the negative first, or point one. All mean the same thing. So des, first prefix you need to know, that means smaller than one. So a decimeter is one tenth of a meter. Simple. If I want to use, I could keep going, I'm going to use centi. Century is 100, so centi means smaller than one, one 100. So one. 100th, 10 negative second, point zero one. Next one, you gotta know it, milli. Better half of vanilla. <laughs> milli, vanilla. Okay, you're gonna get dad jokes. I'm a certified dad, I have my dad card. You're gonna get music jokes and references and you're also gonna get some movie references and doggone it, you better be on top of this. I'll be tested. All right, milli. One, one, me. I, no, one, one thousandth. Strike that, one, one thousandth. We will get to the million, but that ain't it. One, one thousandth. Ten to the negative third, point zero, zero, one. All right, and then, you do need to know this one. This is micro. Oh, and the, the abbreviations. I'll put these, well, I'll put these off to the side here. Little d, I mean, they're pretty straightforward, little c. And little m. Little m means meter, little m also means milli. So m and m, plain or peanut, <laughs> means millimeter. All right, let's see, what do we got? Micro, micro, yes. The prefix micro, there's your one, one million. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten to the negative six, point zero, 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 one. And the abbreviation for micro can't be an M because that's used for milli, so what do you use? It's actually a Greek letter, Greek letter mu, is what a little kitty cat says, is, I like to describe it as a U with a thingy in the front. Thingy is very scientific, a U with a thingy in the front. You can't see that. It's a U with this thingy in the front. Micro, that means, uh, that's abbreviation for, for micro is Greek letter mu. Um, I'm going to put one more down here because sometimes it will show up, and that is nano, 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 and little n, and that's one one billionth. I'm not going to write one in a billion underneath it, okay? It's one one billionth. It's 10 to the negative 9, 10 to the negative 9th, and point one for what that represents, very small. There's pico, which is 10 to the negative 12th. You don't use it. Okay, um, so actually in chemistry you might use pico. Um, one times 10 to the negative 12th is a pico. That would be your next one down, little p. Pico, 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 pico. All right, Pokemon, pico, pico. All right, now in terms of the international system, we've got our basic units of measurement we're gonna use, there are more. There are things for, for uh, voltage, amps, um, amps for current. Uh, for luminosity, uh, for all kinds of things, but we're not going to use those in this class. In this class, so no B. Um, so here are the prefixes we should know. There are more. Again, we're going to be using these, and we're just going to give you what you need to know uh, at this point. Okay. All right. That's the basics of the international system. And now we know it's not the same thing as the metric system. 
No. Pretty close. Close enough for government work. Okay, kids. See you later.